Welcome back, uh, dear viewers, and you're still watching Cairo Local Time. And in this segment of our program, uh, we will talk about the positive role of media in raising awareness of people. And uh, this coincides with the 26th anniversary of uh, Nile TV International. And uh, today we are celebrating uh, this uh, event uh, with uh, our dear guest, guest uh, Dr. Mirat Sukkari. She's transformational coach. Good afternoon. Hello. I'd also like to congratulate Nile TV. Um, 26 years is a long time of helping people out, yes. sending you love and blessings and more success. So, uh, Dr. Mirat, um, as uh, today is a special event uh, for us, we'd like first to talk about uh, the role of media in general in uh, different domains and its role in shaping societies. Of course, it's very well known, it's very powerful, it's a very powerful tool, the media, um, in changing people's attitudes even, if you want yes. to change attitudes, if you want to change mindsets. I'm going to talk from my point of view, which is how to change people's mindsets so they can transform mm. their lives or to s transform their country, actually, because it's made up of people. So the role is very powerful, and if used uh, in a in a studied way, in an impactful way, you can get very high, very big results very fast. Yes. So, uh, Dr. Mirat, um, talking about uh, media also takes us to the role of social media and uh, how uh, it affects uh, people and affects uh, the way people think and uh, their behavior. This is the biggest issue now, this, uh, the social media, yes. because everybody has access and everybody is impacted, actually. Um, just like the regular media also, it can affect you uh, greatly. But what I want to say is, it, with the media, whether it's social media or TVs or mm. any other media, what happens is, is you can create something called collective consciousness. Collective consciousness is the way everybody believes or thinks about any specific topic. And uh, collective consciousness comes from psychiatry, of course. Um, it is the role of the media, if they want to have positive change in a country, let's say, to create a collective consciousness, let's say, of empowerment, of success, of positivity. So you can use this. Now, today, we have the social media and the, the other media. If used well, if this, these tools are used well, you can create a collective consciousness that can economically really change any country not only economically, socially too, you can, because it's all about what you create through the social media, the, the messages. So the messages are about, it's, let's say, empowerment. You can do it. You can really do it. You can really, really do it. No matter how hard it is, you can, you can send these kind of messages. So um, the role of media also in spreading uh, positivity among people is also very important. So as a transformational coach, uh, tell us about uh, this role. Again, <laughs> um, I've been <coughs> talking about positivity since 2011. Yes. <laughs> and it's very important. Again, it all comes to the media's role in, uh, in creating a new collective consciousness. Aye. Because when you create the consciousness, the consciousness is the way people think or believe. When you create this new one that, that you can be positive, when you're positive, you take different steps. So the yes. media can really help this by the messages that they keep sending out. Instead of saying it's hard, it's difficult, there's corruption, there's this, let's say all the good things about it. So I will never forget, I was in a conference in the States and there was a man who also the media there a lot of times don't talk about the positive. But he created a, a magazine, I believe, only talking about what's positive. Only. It's a very it's good success. idea. It's mm. an amazing idea, but of course mm. it was a conference of transformational leaders. Yes. And it was huge, it was 3,000 people actually. But the point is, this is the media's role if you want to move forward. Again, I, as we talked before, I'm an economist, a development economist. So I always think of our economy. Yes. It's always on my mind, it's in my mindset. You need to be positive in order to, to wake up and do something good. Yeah, let's talk about this. If you're upset all night, how good do you do your job the next day? Mm. And if you're very happy, you had a really nice birthday for your daughter and you're feeling good, when you come to work the next morning, how, how productive are you? So your mindset, your positivity is very important. I do a lot of work with positivity. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, if uh, you are a negative person, you will not have any 
energy to do anything. You will always uh, feel that you are so lazy and that uh, you are not uh, doing uh, the right uh, thing in your job. So uh, it's, uh, it's very important uh, to be positive and it's also important for media to spread this feeling among people. Yeah, I also like the science behind everything. I, mean, yes. I, I come from a scientific mind. So in reality, when you're negative, Mm. Your mind is, is, is in a different area. Really? Yeah, the parts of the brain, it's called neuroscience, that are lighting up are a different area than a person who is positive. And there's a way to be taught now that it's a science, positivity is a science, how your mind can be more positive. But if you are that and everything becomes heavy, it becomes a load, you don't yes. want to do it. It's true. And it, it just, it's, you can't, you can't be productive. So I, even when I talk to corporates, I talk about positivity is very important in order for the company to make more profits. Mm. Something that makes sense. Positivity is very important in order for a country to have better development. So positivity everywhere. So I, will, I like this quote. I read it years back. Let me just say this. And it's Henry Ford. Yes. The man who in the, he says, if you think you can, and if you think you can't, you are right. Mm. So if you think you can, and you believe it, you will, no matter what. And if you think you can't, it's true, it will be so many obstacles, and you can't. Because the mind is very powerful. So you have your ways to make people think positive. It's, uh, as you said, it's a science. It's, it's a not science. just sessions. It's actually a science. There's actually positivity psychology now, but then there's also uh, um, even more powerful tools now because they've understood the brain more. Mm. They have done scans on the brain. I don't want to go into too much science. For neuroscience now has taught us by different acts and by how you train your brain to be positive, you can do it, you can do it within 30 to 90 days maximum. Some people get results within 30 days. Some people get it within 90 days. It's just about training which parts of the brain. It's like, do I put light in this room or this room? Do I wake up on the default of the picture? Is the picture pessimistic on my phone or is the picture a beautiful sunrise? So there is a science behind it and it's not hard. The, the nice thing about, <coughs> really the nicest thing I found out, things that to me I thought in the beginning they were going to be really hard and how do people do this? When I started studying, 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 and I actually created my own programs, um, it's not hard. It's just having the tools. It's just knowing how. Once you know the how, you can do it. Maybe this is a very important message to Egyptian people now uh, who need to know how to be positive in this critical stage uh, of our history when we need to work and be more productive uh, to achieve our development goals, right? For sure. For sure. Yes. So they can research, they can use YouTube, Arabic, English. Yes. I personally have over a thousand videos. There is a whole group on how to be more positive. I've done interviews in Arabic and in English yes. on positivity. If you search for something, you'll find you'll it. Find it yes. You'll find it, for sure. So, uh, uh, Dr. Mirat, also uh, we, uh, you talked to us about emotional uh, freedom techniques and also to what extent these techniques can affect people. Yeah. One of the main tools that they use internationally, worldwide now, for becoming more positive and for other issues too, is emotional freedom techniques. Hmm. Emotional freedom techniques is a tool that is based on how the brain works and how the body is reacting inside. So when you're not positive, there's actually certain chemicals floating in the body. And if you are positive, you have some beautiful chemicals like serotonin floating in the body. So when you use EFT, it's touching certain points of the body and speaking in a certain way because it has a little bit of a, another science called neuro-linguistic programming. So neurolinguistics is how to program the brain using words, plus knowledge of how the body works. So if you tap on this, it sends a message to the body, send this, send serotonin, send that. So what, emotion freedom techniques, actually you use it to remove the negative things in your life. So you're angry because your son won't study. You need to remove that in a physical way using EFT so that your body is not sending the message 24 seven. That's why I'm saying it's a science. And it's not hard to learn. Also, my, my videos are free. They're just on the yes, net. Yes. You can learn how to use EFT to relose. You're sad because um, your other son failed, or you're sad yes. because you did not get promoted, or you're sad because X, Y, Z happened. You can remove this emotion because that's why EFT is actually called a mind-body technology. It's combining how the mind thinks. I'm sad, my son, my son, my son is not passing. And at the same time, what's happening in the body is the physical thing. The chemicals are floating in the body and sending messages. That's why if you're very angry, you can feel your heart, you can feel your, 
it's and then they can Actually, take a picture of your and, brain yes. and they see which parts are, are lighting. When you use EFT, and we can do something about it one time, yes. talk more about it, you break the pattern, you break the messaging. So the mind is hearing, I'm so sad, my son, and something is cutting this, this messaging from the brain. That's why there's a lot of science. EFT has been recommended by Harvard Medical School, it's used all over the world. It's used in uh, U.S., uh, I don't want to go into too much, but the, by U.S. veterans, it's used by the, the, in Israel for the army, for sub-schools. It's used in Australia a lot with schools. It's used in hospitals. It's all over the world. I've been talking about it a lot. Um, I brought it into the Arab world, this tool, but it is one of the main tools now to release the emotions that are making you negative. And of course, there's also, if not, you know, we talked about the development and success, but we're talking now about health. Because if you're always negative, yes. what's going on inside? You will get sick. It's true. It uh, also uh, decreases your immune system. And you will get autoimmune diseases. Yes. And by the way, I just want to add, some people know my story. That was my story. I was so stressed. I got an autoimmune disease. And this is how I got into this new world, because yes. I was a financial advisor. And um, when I got the autoimmune disease, because I was carrying all this negativity. Mm. And that's why I've studied so much in this. And one of the main problems with stress and negativity is you're ruining your health. I also, I, yes. alhamdulillah, I healed using these tools. Really? And now I'm off medicine since 2009, and that's the year I decided to start teaching to help these people. things. I changed my career, I, I did everything. You, you decided to get out of st the stress, a stress do zone in your life. And even, okay, I learned the tools, so I could have continued finance and mm. economics, but I also decided because we don't have these tools and knowledge in our countries, mm. not just Egypt, the whole Middle East, I looked and Googled everywhere, it was only in Israel. I decided I need to do this and forget about finance because there's a lot of good financial people in Egypt. So I said, no, I'm gonna do EFT and I started uh, and a mission to change your career totally to teach and to something that people. you really enjoy i love i enjoy and it's a mission now it's like i need to do this for the i'm, I'm not a young I want person to help people yes. to help and leave something for the country that they can use because it's a very empowering tool yes uh, it take hours it's to very important it. tool also uh, for youths these days who need uh, more uh, positivity in uh, their life uh, who need to choose uh, their careers in the right way and not uh, to uh, give up easily yes. so how can you help them uh, through your work same idea is how to learn the tool the tool is self-help you don't need to go to someone all the time which is amazing yes. once they have mastered the tool so we do workshops we explain or I do it on TV or I do it on, on the YouTube once they know how to use the tool they can help themselves and as you said, it's not, you're, one part is removing the negativity. One part is telling the brain, now it's all mind body. So you can tell the brain, I can do it. I'm fine, I can, I'm positive. So when you program your mind that way, you can do it. And anybody who has ever succeeded in anything, they program their mind. If you talk about opera, you talk about any leaders, they program their mind that they can do it. If you read self-development, that's what they did. They convinced their mind, it wasn't called programming then, but today we know it's called programming because it's neuro programming. They told their mind every single day, yes, I can do this. Yes, I can invent something that will fly like the airplane. Yes, I can go. When Kennedy said, put a man on the moon, they said, <laughs> we can. They did not tell him no, by the way. They had no clue how. This is the story, but they yes. said, we'll do it. So I, I, I feel it in my body and they did it because they just were one side, were doing that. They didn't have the doubts. So the, this tool, you can use it to remove doubts. Whatever. It's just talking to your brain, and you now have the key hmm. to talking to your brain. So for the youth, I would recommend get on my YouTube channel and start learning EFT. Start learning EFT. Yes. Well, I've also done some, a lot of things in schools and, and different areas, but of course it doesn't cover the 100 million. But you told me that you have a program to empower youth uh, or you are interested in this. I'm issue. very, very interested in empowering, empowering the youth because, as I said, I'm a development economist and uh, Egypt is very dear to me. Yes. And um, yeah, too much. Yeah. So my mission is it is the youth who are going to, to develop this country. Who else? True. And I really, really, really believe in them. And I see things maybe others don't see because I'm an energy, I'm, re I'm connected a bit. Yes. So I can feel their energy and they are doing a great job. They're not that well empowered and sometimes. There's still a lot of obstacles, but still it is the youth who are going to do this. 
and they are. You will find them very creative. They're coming up with ideas, and they're make, managing no matter what, as I say. So my, one of my programs is, is called Positive No Matter What. Yeah. The youth are now in Egypt managing no matter what. So many difficulties, they're still doing it. And I, I just admire them so much. So um, I'd love to give more to, to that area if that's possible. I've helped small groups like business women, young business women through, I'm not going to say the NGO or, or not an NGO. It was a donor, some donor who, who, yes. who was supporting them. Or I've done business women of Egypt. I've done some things small like this, but it hasn't been spread enough. But for the youth, I'm very open to help them. So uh, also, uh, Dr. Mirat, increasing uh, the productivity of uh, the whole uh, Egyptian uh, society is very important. So what are your tips to them? My tips to them is they need to work on themselves to remove the limit, what we call limiting beliefs. Yes. And you've brought up a very important, I don't know if I can say this. I actually did have a proposal to the Ministry of Planning three mm -hmm. years ago with how to release limiting beliefs so the labor in the companies can be more productive. Yes. Because this tool can be used that way. It's a belief system. If you have a belief system, it doesn't matter what I do or don't do. The, I don't need to work a lot. They don't pay me a lot. This is beliefs. I had that. I spent a year working on this yes. myself. <coughs> what are the beliefs? Because I come from the corporate. I know what the business world is. 35 years I was an employee in corporate as yes. a banker, <coughs> stock market. I was in the Egyptian stock market. I was okay, working on the privatization yeah. company. I worked through five ministries supporting them in different economic policies like Ministry of Environment, Ministry yes. of Agriculture, Ministry of Economy. So you were so working I'm under stress. stress. I know what it's like. Mm. No, I know what the country looks like mm. <laughs> from the labor, because I worked on privatization. I knew yes. from the labor to the management of the stock exchange or the ministers, because I've dealt with all the levels, the strata. So actually, yes, we can help our country with the belief system and increase productivity using such a tool. It will take some time. It will take maybe six months of training and, and going back and, and explaining. But yes, you can use these tools to grow your country. And as I said, other countries are doing it now. Mm. Other countries are doing it. You can Google and find it yourself, you know. So also uh, talking about the role of media back to our main topic. Uh, so tell me more about the role of media in uh, uh, reflecting uh, the real development taking uh, place now in Egypt and the mega projects and the achievements uh, done by the government. How can we? Uh, How can you? Yeah, yes. I would. I would love to see programs that are every, you know, like regular programs showing young success. Why not have a program every week talking to one person mm. within 35 to 40 years who has created some kind of creative program uh, project and is doing it? Yes. Why not have another program talking just about the obstacles and bringing it to the light of how the young people are trying to do? Because their problems are different from the people who are huge business people. Mm. And that comes also, I was in a bank as a credit officer. So we yes. were looking at feasibility studies. Mm. They don't have the money to borrow 10 million pounds. They need small. So maybe that you need to bring in the success stories. And there are success stories. Mm. I'm not going to mention names, but we know there's a few young men or women in Egypt that have done very successfully. So you're talking about uh, supporting entrepreneurs and uh, Yes, we can support all these young entrepreneurs. But bring to light the successes and their stories. So that's a show we watch. I don't want the, the shows that tell me the problems. I yes. want the show that tells me, look at Mirat, what she has created. Look mm. at so-and-so, look at so-and-so. So that's something that needs, the media needs to do that. The media also, quite mm. frankly, for productivity and support, needs to start bringing in the new sciences that other countries are talking about. The new mind-body sciences. I will never forget one of my assistants in, in, the, in the office I had. She said, why isn't there a whole channel talking about all these new sciences? Not just EFT, neuro linguistic mm. programming, other sciences. Why isn't there a whole channel where we watch this and fill our brain like this? And I said, of course, I wish. So we need the media, if it really wants to have a stronger role in the growth of this economy, mm. it needs to have a stronger uh, mission and what to bring to this economy. Yes. And it, ha it needs to also become modernized yes. with a fast pace. Yes. <laughs> so finally, I'd like uh, to thank you, Dr. Mirat Sukkari, Transformational Coach. Uh, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, dear viewers, uh, by that we come to the end of uh, today's edition of Cairo Local Time. Stay tuned for more is coming up on Nile TV International.